Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm really not feeling well. And to, to, on Thursday, I have a flight to catch to go to on my vacation trip to Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, and then over to Knoxville, Tennessee. I also want to sit here and say that this is my last night for Halloween Horror Nights for the season. Um, first and foremost, to all the scare actors to in the streets, houses, to all the workers who helped put on Halloween Horror Nights. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys did this season. You guys did a kick-ass job. Um, I'm going to continue with the next day here. Letting you guys enjoy today's video, but I just want to point something out that rumors for next year, people suggesting for next year, or figure out what they're gonna do. Well, Stranger Things has come up plenty of times, but Halloween is coming to an end. Sad, but hopefully around April or May, we'll get the, we'll get all our announcements. Enjoy the video, guys. Oh, I got a Kong at 308. Kong 308. I don't remember where we parked at, guys. So I literally had 10 minutes to make it into the park to hit stay and scream before they closed the gates. I was gonna stop inside the studio store to see if they had any new merch before I head in, but because I got 10 minutes before anything else, I'm gonna force my way. Into, I'm gonna get myself not force my way, but get myself into the park and enjoy a little bit of Halloween horror nights. And I can receive the archways from here. Listen, I told myself I wasn't gonna cry, okay? It's always next year. For everybody's predicting stranger things, like no tomorrow. Well, for the marquees, this is it for me. And for you guys. And the biggest thing that I'm gonna miss the most about Halloween is literally none of the IPs. The built up properties. That's what I miss most because they were a really good house. Especially Dead Man's Fear, that was my favorite. Followed by the weekend and then Halloween. But here we go guys, one last time. So as you're walking up as well, they're promoting the horror. They're, they're promoting stream the horror at home with Peacock Halloween Horror. And I made it up to the gate as well. It's about like five minutes to spare maybe. I think it's less than five though. But I made it up here with time. They hit stay and screaming to my houses. Soon, to me, Pumpkin Road one last time, spreading us Halloween cheers. And of course the horrors of Halloween. The all all the other scare zones into this just one little scare zone. What they've done, construction updates. It's a quote unquote new minion ride. Cheers, Electric Death. So good. Last time, maybe not, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna miss this one a lot. Great fucking run through Pi for the last time. Um, it's weird to be in there by, by yourself. I was there as one of my buddies. Good run through. I had a blast. Got scared a couple times and I enjoyed every minute of it. One last time. Five. Really good. Time. Good house, just not tonight. A lot of actors missing. Deadly scare zone. The Deadly scarecrow scare zone. Yeah. 
Macro scareless scare zone. Not even the corn guys here. We do got the. We do got the. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's only three actors because it's a, uh, another house night that got moved up to a night. There's two more people. Something's going on for a fright to remember. Don't know where it is though. But on our way to uh, Chupacabra. Osmeg right now is having their uh, Dark Art Show. Hopefully, she's going to fire with her. Nice to be just playing it, so. I want to see fire. to be this busy tonight. I really wasn't, but it is a, a week, week away before Halloween. I'm actually going to meet, about to meet up with a friend over at Mel's real quick and then probably call it, but I want to get like one or two more scares on Sunday and that's it. Just somebody got scared with no actor there. That's still kind of hurts. <laughs> And again, there's like nobody in Scarecrow. There is no corn man tonight. Oh, there is an act. You can't really see it, but there's an act that just... Last time seen a barn. Oh, it's kind of late day now, but Gloria is probably done for the man of the year as well. That is the recovery since Hurricane Ian. Wars of Halloween one last time. Not really that. Could be a little more better. A lot of the act is not even on the show. Should be on the Oh, they do got actors on still. Even though it's not really that busy, it's not gonna really happen.
for 50 minutes. And I'll say this now, Halloween was over 140 minutes. Dead Man's Fear Winter's Wake was at least over 150 minutes. And 115 minutes for Blumhouse. Park. Uh, this one won't be an easy one, but it's a next September. Until next year. Just as square as there's a lot of people leaving the parks, there's still a lot of people walking into the parks. And even by the turnstiles, there was lines. So I meant to get this video up on Tuesday. It's now Wednesday, 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, tomorrow I have to be at the airport around 10.40, but I'm trying to get there around 8. Be, at, be there like two hours in advance to make sure that I know I can catch my flight on time, so... Yeah, I made a mistake. Um, oh no, this year's for Halloween Horror Nights, I'm going to give it a solid... I, I don't want to say it was a good event this year. It was a very out of hand event. There's been a lot of people complaining about it, and I do see the problems. But first off, my hat goes off to all the actors. Thank you guys for putting on a good show. I, I mean, there's only so much I can say of is bugs good or bad? Is it okay to use ex by Express or do RIP? Can you really enjoy the event now? So, Holland Hornets, uh, out of 10 this year, I want to give it a solid 7. Last year I felt like it was just a tad bit better, but this year, scares also just more fun. So, with that being said, I'm going to see you guys at the next one. Have a good one.